Hello viewers, I'm SP and welcome back to Caves of Cud. I have a couple of pieces of news here. First of all, uh, the Tomb of the Eaters update that we've been playing with the beta of here went onto the live branch uh, yesterday, I believe. So you can get in on a, a nice, relatively stable uh, version of that and explore the parts of the main quest that we've not gotten to uh, quickly before, <laughs> before we can reach them here. Uh, the second piece of news is you might notice we're not exactly in the spot we were when we uh, when we stopped last time. Uh, when I tried to save the game after the last episode, it uh, crashed and told me told me no. In fact, I will not save this game. And when I reloaded, it was um, it had us back fighting the trolls. So I got through the trolls again. We're down here on the level below the trolls, and my plan was to just rush back down to Stratum Seven, so we could pick up roughly where we left off. Uh, but then, there were many enemies uh, in this area, and I did something foolish. I was like, well, for safety, I'll just back up and bottleneck them, right? I'll stand right here, and I'll, I'll let the enemies bottleneck. Uh, well, I killed a Kragmensch in the doorway, and his corpse, you know, he dropped a big boulder corpse there, and I, I, can't, I can't get through. I can't get through the doorway. I tried murdering the boulder. Turns out to be actually very tough to do. Then I tried hacking my way through the wall over here. That, similarly, very hard to do. So, I started the recording a little early. We're only on Stratum 5, I think. Uh, but because I think the way we're going to resolve this is we're going to nano neuro animator this wall and see if we can just ask it politely to move out of the way, and I thought that was a, that's a thing worth catching on camera. That said, let me... Okay, I was just making sure that we were actually still stuck, because there wasn't a boulder here last time I was in this space, so I was wondering if the boulder that was in the doorway moved, but no, apparently it is still there, even though it's not visible. So, let's attempt to animate this bloody section of the wall and see what happens. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Boy, what do you think? Will it be hostile when we wake it up? I, to be, I am animating a section of wall, so this, the, the flashing part is the part I was attacking. We're going to animate a different section of wall in the, in the hopes that it will not be mad at me. I mean, this one probably wouldn't be mad at me, right? Because it wasn't sentient when I was hitting it. What do you think if, what do you think the reputation of, of an animate wall would be? I mean, there's not one for walls, right? You think it's, uh... What's a is a wall a winged mammal? No, probably not. An unshelled reptile? I mean, it's certainly unshelled. You cannot argue that a wall has a shell. Uh, boy, robots really don't like me. What did I do to robots? Even docile robots will have at you. Huh. Weird. Well, okay. I guess let's just find out. Let's let's hit the. I keep closing the wrong. Keep closing the menus. Listen. We don't need to know what any of the buttons do. We don't need to ever do anything right. Being a clumsy idiot has worked out for me so far. Okay. Activate. Facing that way. The graffitied marble wall. You imbue the graffitied marble wall with life. And then... And then I... <laughs> what am I? Okay, cannot politely ask you to move out of the way. But it's not... Is it reading as hostile? I may reward you. Oh no, that's just the graffiti that was that was already written on it. I guess if you're gonna animate a wall, the wall that says I may reward you on it is the one to do it. It's neutral, so can I just move through? Yeah, it's just a being, right? So we can just swap places with it. I mean, that's pretty useful, to be perfectly honest with you. So do I, I still have my, my nano neuro animator, right? Like if that's... That's the whole point of the thing, is that it it's it's a version of this thing that has multiple uses. Honestly, seems pretty cool. Also, at some point, I guess our phylactery got rusted? That's a shame. I mean, I don't know that I was ever going to use it on account of I'm terrified to do so. Uh, but now that I can't, I'm upset about it. Alright. Let's have at this guy. It's real quick. Uh, we got good cleaves right away, so we'll go for the dismember. We'll just hack our way down. Oh, he stunned me. He stunned me with his huge punching. Have you ever seen a man with punching so huge? I am a little concerned about the, uh... Yep. We're gonna get stunning forced here. The good news is, also, other things around us got stunning forced. 
And the other good news is that that crab that was coming after us is no longer going to be able to reach us on account of the, the boulder corpse that is in his way. You know, it's starting to get a little enemy dense over here. Why don't we just, uh, why don't we just fugue? And then I'm gonna force bubble. And wait, which one is me? I'm this one. Okay. And then I'm gonna back up. And then I'm gonna shoot you. Then I'm gonna back up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna shoot you. Okay, my dudes are throwing grenades and stuff. I'm not actually sure if our um, if our doubles will have access to uh, the throwing axes. Like, I, I don't know if they go into your inventory to equip things. I mean, presumably, they probably do, because they use your injectors. I'm just thinking, um, if they are willing to use the throwing axes, we might get to see the throwing axes in action. But it's also possible that none of them will do it. I'm just going to melee this guy. Um, because of the fact that they have a gun equipped. They may, they may just feel that if I'm going to do a ranged attack, I may as well use the gun I'm already holding. Which, I mean, you know, when you really think about it, it's a pretty reasonable way to feel. Okay, uh, none of my stuff is available, but Flurry will be available. Oh no, Shield Slam. I'll Shield Slam the crab. Remarkably, I was not able to knock a huge crab prone. Uh, now we flurry. That's interesting. It seemed like um, using Shield Slam didn't actually spend a turn. Which I did not realize was the way that worked here. We can also uh, do time dilation. I have dismembered him. I'm cutting all of his crab parts off. Take that. His left mid leg. Got him. Alright, I am. Read history? I was trying to... <laughs> I was hoping that we could learn how to build a regeneration tank. Uh... Yeah, don't... The The advanced toolkit lets you get extra... Are you hostile? Are you after me? You are. What, what is wrong with you? Why would you do something like this? The advanced toolkit just gives you a chance to get more bits from stuff, and I don't honestly think that we care all that much. Still a lot of sleep gas. Okay. You know, it's... Alright, that sounded like a chain gun. So, we have, obviously, uh, seen some of this floor already. I'm gonna try to just do this stuff as quickly as possible. I mean, I don't want to not, um, I don't want to not explore, though, because, you know, loot and everything. So, forgive me. We'll just, you know... We'll just have ourselves a nice, pleasant time here in, in Cud. It doesn't always have to be about advancing, right? I do wish that, um... I do wish that the gas would clear faster, or that maybe we could bring a fan with us. Ooh, a scoped, sturdy chain pistol. Pretty good odds that's just getting disassembled, but let's not start there. You know, who knows? We may end up... Oh, that's right. If you, if you do the smart use on Hyperbiotic Chair, you sit in it rather than disassembling it. Ah, uh, okay. Here, I'm gonna try to get a twofer here. We're gonna step up this way and then I'm going to EMP. Personal EMP. Did that get them both? You're pulsed. We can't even see that guy. I will assume that he is pulsed. Uh, Dismember. Take this, robot. Okay, we did something. It's definitely leaking. It's really not taking that much damage. Okay, there we go. Your turn. I guess we could... No, never mind. I was going to say we, could, we should probably dismember this thing in the hopes of um, cutting off its laser turret. Well, that thing, it survived a remarkable number of hits. Okay, I think it was cloning crabs. I think, I think we got a bunch of cra uh, crab clones down here. Uh, is it worth... Yeah, you know what, I'll fugue. Is it worth fuging is a little bit of a silly question, because, like, what what is the resource that I'm afraid of spending? Honestly, for, for maximum safety, it is probably best we just fugue every time it's off cooldown, like every time an enemy comes anywhere near us while it's off cooldown. But it does sometimes make navigation a little bit tricky afterward because of all the force fields. Our, uh, our fugue army is very powerful. 
Hard to argue with that. Uh, okay, this thing, we don't know what it is yet. Peptic beds are remarkably, um, remarkably bad scrap. What are you? Wait a minute, do we know what, have we identified one of these before? Examine? I'm making progress. Nope, I'm puzzled. Whatever it is, it's real weird. Oops, I, I pressed I instead of S. Those keys aren't even near each other. Aha! The psionic sarcophagus. It's worked from otherworldly limestone. The stone was quarried from a drift world spinning about a darkling star whose weak luminescence didn't bleach the void stuff from the rock's coral. Now it insulates its slumberer from the rays of materiality and conducts them to the psychic ether. Exiting may not succeed and is a task based on intelligence, but adds 10 levels to your mental mutations, presumably just while you're in it, not like permanently. <laughs> I mean, right? Hold on, let me... We're gonna test it. Let me clear out the other hostels from this area. It's gotta just be while you're in it. Why am I even shooting at this crap? Like, is this, is this likely to yield any benefit? Such good odds that you're just gonna bounce everything off its shell. Alright, if it wants to do stuff, we can do stuff. But like, we, can, we gotta do it in melee. Shield slam. Nope. I mean, crabs are very low to the ground, is the thing. Think about what it would take to knock a crab prone. Think about what that would mean, like, from a physics standpoint. It's not a thing you're going to see happen all that much. Alright, there are so many of these damn things. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be too upset. They're remarkably uh, easy to kill. And they do give real XP. Uh, do we have anything? No. We'll just, we'll just mash on this guy. I mean, Cleave is pretty great, I have to say. I do think, I, I think it's really cool, and they, they did a really good job of generating interesting mechanical identities for all the melee weapons. But man, I sure do like axes better than all the other melee weapons. Not to, which is not even to say that I think axes are necessarily better. I think long blades have a lot to recommend them, and we haven't really tried a short blade character. It might be a thing worth uh, worth going for in the future. All right, I'm gonna enter the sarcophagus. All right, um, I, I extricated myself. Wait, let me get in. Look at my mental mutations. So it doesn't show them. Oh, is it powered? I feel. Oh no. There we go. No, it has no power cells in it. But yeah, I mean, I'm just going to disassemble. I'm sure it's just while you're in there, you, your mental mutations are real good. So another um, another seven is a pretty big deal. We definitely have some mods uh, that need that need seven bits. A bloodstained masterwork metal strut. This is the finest metal strut anyone has ever seen. I love the fact that you can just sit down in the rolling chair. Uh, it does seem like you can't... Um, cool. Great. Learned, learned to build that. I'm so glad that I put that in our menu. It does seem like a little bit of a shame that you can't get in the rolling chair and then move around with it. When I moved, it just took me off of it. You should be able to scoot around on the rolling chair. I would like it if it gave some me mechanical benefit, mostly because it would be funny. I don't, I don't know that it necessarily makes a lot of sense for it to be a, a useful thing to do, but it'll be it would be cute. It would be cute to scoot around in a, in a rolling chair. All right, I am a little worried about the gyro humor if it realizes that we're here and and shooting at it. You know that could have some situational uh, some situational. I was about to I was about to describe consequences as situational. You know, in the situation where you have the consequences, they are situational. Uh, this thing, this is what I was trying to avoid. It getting close to me. Wow, it's I'm really on fire. I am having a hell of a time putting this out. Continue to beat at the flames with your hands. Actually, if I just pass turn... Okay, yeah, if you just stand still and pass turn, you automatically beat at the flames with your hands. Wow, that was... A, I'm gonna rest until healed. Nope, never mind. Plasternoids. Can't rest. Not while these things are around. Also, they do not, in fact, give XP. I must have gotten some XP from killing something else in the same turn where I killed that pla the, the plasternoid on the previous floor and... So I thought it was giving me XP. 
I do love having so much ammo that I never have to, like, be concerned about my ammo count. Oh no! My skin shrivels and dimples. What did he hit me with? Rubber gum. Okay, so keep in mind, a rubber gum tonic by itself, not even a harmful thing to be shot with. But, if we are afflicted by multiple... Ah, shoot, I can't hit anything at this range, and I really don't want... Yep, that. I really don't want the cloning. Also, I'm bleeding badly because I stepped on some Beth when I stepped forward, I'm assuming, and I just I don't have time to deal with it right now. You know what? This is... It's fugue time. Okay, apparently we gotta build out the zone considerably when the fugue happens. Uh, and then I'm gonna step down out of the way. And then again, because that the guy I was trying to step out of the way of also moved. Then we force bubble. I'm bleeding pretty badly. Alright, I'm helping. I mean, I'm not helping a lot. I'm not actually hitting any of my shots. I'm hitting the walls around here a lot, actually. Uh, and I'm still bleeding somehow. Do I have first aid? I, I almost never have to use first aid. Uh, did I not remember to pick it up with this character? It, like, it never comes up, so I don't think about it. Shoot, uh, well... To be perfectly honest with you, if I take much more bleeding damage... Oh, it looks like it must have stopped, yeah. I was gonna say, I will I will just salve injector. Alright. We're all really bad shots, but it is a lot of bullets coming out, so I think that it's probably gonna add up to something. I'm gonna uh, take a moment. I don't know how my firing got unlocked. Shooting is, is a fine one to have locked. The good news is, they seem to be living permanently in the convalescence. The bad news is that, uh, obviously, at the rate that we're actually making contact with them, them being in the convalescence prevents us from probably killing them. And we're hitting so infrequently. Okay, one of them went down. I'm going to continue working on these guys. Oh, hey, a Beetle. I think we've generated... Wow, that's a lot of dudes. What is going on over there? And I've lost, I've lost sight because we no longer have my gloating, my floating glow sphere providing vision. I mean, it's not a big deal. The, they're not dangerous. But sure is a lot of them. Oh no, wait, okay, the plastronites are worth XP. I guess the XP message for the other one. Okay, so sometimes the XP message appears above the kill damage. Okay. The tonic has worn off, which is good, because obviously it's pretty bad to just be on a tonic when there are booster bots around. For fear of getting lethally over-toniced. You're not even really a danger. I suppose I could just be... I could, I could have just waded into these things and meleeed. But also, we still have like 11,000 bullets left. But do you want five sets of giant hands? What? What does that mean? We'll reward you with heightened skill. Okay. Five sets of giant hands. Is there an item that's called giant hand? I don't think we've ever seen one. That doesn't mean they don't exist, obviously, but... Maybe he just means, like, big hands. Maybe we could, like, just chop off the hands of things that are large and bring him those hands. Alright, a bunch of cracked tubes, which apparently I have not identified yet. Apparently all injectors are cracked. Who knew? Alright, well I think we're pretty safe now. And we actually do know how to craft a bunch of types of injectors, so these, uh, these empty injectors could be real useful, I think. You know, honestly, how how does one make a salve injector? Of all the injector types we have, that's the, one, the only one I'm really worried about. Uh, you need Dreadroot Tuber. Okay. A1 and Dreadroot. That's, like, very doable. I don't think there's any Dreadroot down here. And I certainly don't have any on me. Because, you know, why would you just carry Dreadroot around? 
Where the, I mean, where obviously the answer is because it makes, it makes the best kind of injector. Well, I mean, I suppose the Eater's Nectar injectors look pretty alright. As far as injectors go. The, uh, I'm gonna rest until healed. The Beth, man, it's just everywhere. Just, just lurking. It is wild how slowly the turns are passing here while we're resting. Usually these just fly by. Okay, not great. Uh, force bubble, first of all. Wait, why fire it that way? Why would you? Why would you not assume I wanted you to shoot at the enemies? This is just a normal humor. It's a good point. Gunfire's better when there's ammo in it. Is that the first time we've seen a humor as opposed to a gyro humor? I wonder if they're different stages in the life cycle of the same organism or. I don't even know why I go out of my way to destroy the. The bath. Like once you once you have managed to not oh, I fell asleep in the sleep gas. Thought I was gonna skirt right past it. Uh, once you've managed to not fall victim to it, it's not really much of a threat anymore. Alright, so is this the floor? Yeah, we definitely generated different floors this time. I guess it doesn't actually build the floors until you go down onto them. So not super happy about that. So all of our mental stuff is locked, right? We're yeah, we're we're here in the middle of the uh, the goop. All right. I guess my plan is wait until it comes close enough for us to see it, and then inject the blaze and go to town on it. And maybe maybe we'll get lucky and it will get distracted by something else, and I will naturally thaw before it becomes a danger to us. I am thawing remarkably quickly, which I assume has a lot to do with the amount of cold resist that I'm wearing. Twinning leech. Okay, there it is. And we did, we did thaw out right as it got to us. So I'm going to enable sprint. And we're going to try to run west, I think. Oof. I was hoping to find a place where like we wouldn't have to expend any resources. But it's actually getting more dangerous <laughs> as more enemies show up here. Uh, we could throw a grenade. I have a variety of interesting grenades. We could try to, like, stun gas our enemies, or... I just, I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to worry about a booster bot actually landing two shots while I'm fighting multiple other dangerous things. And under normal circumstances, I would simply fugue here and then let my clones handle a lot of it. But I think my plan is going to be go back upstairs. And hope that some but not all of the enemies follow. Okay. That's pretty much perfect. Fugue. Force bubble. Step out of the way. And then let him have it. A normality field. Actually a little bit dangerous. Wow, this dude is hard to hard to kill. Did he... Okay, yes, he did die. Cool. The salty, luminous, bloody Rhymewick. Alright, let's just rest until healed. I stopped resting for some reason. I'm gonna try it again. No, I'm not. Huh. Rest now? I'm not sure why it's not letting me... Ow. Damn it. Like, I'm wondering if there's an enemy at the bottom of the stairs, so the stair tile is counting as me seeing an enemy, or, yeah, looks like that might be what it was, actually. Also, we're feeling hungry. Wow, you really gotta, you gotta, you gotta take a moment off in these circumstances. Alright, let's make camp right here. There are hostels nearby because of the staircase. God... Hate it. Hate the best. Okay, there we go. Uh, well, first of all, preserve all my fresh foods, which I apparently have. And secondly, I mean, do we wanna do we wanna try cooking with? Yeah, let's try like 
fire ant gaster paste and and meat and two meats plus three quickness for the rest of the day that's cool whenever you take damage there's an eight percent chance you emit a ray of flame that makes me a little nervous not that you gain the ability to emit a ray of flame which you may then emit at your leisure it just happens it just shoots out of you I could see that maybe being a problem in some places. Oh, there are two additional rhyme wicks. Yo, uh, blaze injector for sure. We have a couple of those, right? Uh, where are my injectors at? Yeah, 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 okay. Apply. Uh, and then I'm gonna try to quickly kill this one in melee. So knock him prone, then dismember him. He's already badly wounded, so stuff's been going roughly for him down here. I'm going to shoot him. Okay. We got that one. Uh, Flurry. Just try to cut him up. He fa He's failing to penetrate my armor. That's a good sign. Uh, and then we're basically out of... I, I guess I, I can time dial it. Apparently I'm not in the field right now. I didn't realize that. Well, then I force bubble. I've caught on fire. That's my bad. I'm gonna go upstairs. Stood stood still for too long. Uh, I'm gonna force bubble. Nope, I did force bubble downstairs and it didn't do anything for some reason. Now I'm gonna run. Sprint. I'm gonna sprint. Yeah, a little concerned about my uh, my dudes shooting me. Is the rhyme dead? No. Right, well, I'm gonna go around the corner here. Yeah, there we go. I was, I was going to say, if he, if he survives now, I can shoot at him and they can shoot at him. And we can all be reasonably sure we won't hit each other. Because apparently my clones are a little ornery sometimes. <laughs> they, uh, they will get mad at me. I wonder if, I'm, if my rest is being interrupted by the fact that a creature with my name is taking damage. I'm going to just pass turn until... Yeah, those guys go away, and then we'll rest until healed. And hopefully that'll be all the Rhymewicks. Three Rhymewicks near a staircase. And near the staircase into a level that is completely submerged in a normality field is actually a pretty rough obstacle for us. And I am glad that we made it. Okay, this stuff we can handle with our non-mental skills. I can just murder some crabs up. Murder some crabs up real good. Obviously, I find it difficult to speak while doing so. I'm not trying to say that it's totally trivial. Why do we gotta thaw the zone? What zone is being thawed right now? Well, we can see the edge of the normality field, which is exciting. I, you know, I would just love to pick up these injectors if that's a thing that could happen. If the if the zone if the zone could stop being thawed. All I really want to do is pick up these injectors and then run for the edge of the uh, the edge of the area here. Okay. And we are being pursued by a big crab man, but uh, you know what? Honestly, I'll take him on right here. I'm not afraid of him. Knock him prone. We're 11 turns off a of dismember. I'll just, I'll just smash him. I'm not afraid. So I'm assuming that in order to get as badly wounded as it got, the Rhymewick must have, uh, must have been fighting with some of the, uh, <clears throat> some of the crabs down here. Have we gotten... I don't know that we've actually gotten any cleaves off. I'm going to try the dismember anyway. Yeah, good enough. You know, just cut his head clean off. Pro probably her head, you know. It does say mother right there. Just walking on the bath, you know, for fun. I want to check out this battle real bad, but also... Plastronoids. All right, are we... I, I would love to be free of hostiles so that I could rest until healed. Because I... Because I really need it. Nope. An empty injector whizzes past. Somewhere, there is a booster bot. I'm going to just talk to this thing. Bring me five Emerald Mechanimist Catechist figurines and I will reward you with a blazing cannon. There is no universe in which that can happen. What? Where would I even... Where would I find one of those things? Let alone five... You know what? I'm not... Okay, let's just, um... Here, let's break line of sight. Let's force him through the doorway. And now, 
the fugue. And I'm a little worried, actually, about all the normality gas-filled enemies over there. If they are allowed to discharge their normality gas in this place, will they just unmake my temporal fugue clones? Or would are the clones cool now that they exist and it's just that it would prevent me from making them if I was standing in the field? I have no idea. I'm asking idle questions to people who cannot possibly answer. Right, it does look like we've cleaned this up, though. Oh, hey, it's a Quillipede. <clears throat> and I'm just... The only thing I'm managing to shoot is the walls around here. Okay, I got him. I got him that time. To be perfectly honest with you, I kind of think that the, um, the mutations that we have organically developed over the course of Marugamet's uh, playtime are contributing more to us <laughs> than the ones that we started with. Give me this. Alright, am I cool to rest now? Are we... Nope. Uh, that is a cloneling. Here's what I think of you. Oh yeah, I actually managed to hit him, I think. Obviously not like a bunch of times or anything. I'm a little nervous walking around at this level of health. It's like stepping on Beth would actually deal a pretty significant percentage of our remaining HP. Ah, uh, Plastronoids. Why are there so many damn Plastronoids? It's like they... It's like it's their home or something. You, you might be forgiven for thinking that this is where they come from. Alright. You wanna do this thing? I will do, Yeah, that's what I thought. The fleeing. The desperate, terrified fleeing. You know, that one had the guts to really go for it. I do have to give him that. Uh, this stuff is mostly not worth having. I'll take the food. So we see the way out. I suppose we could just go down, but then how would I get all of the sweet loot, like the salve injectors? Okay, this is pretty good. Bandages and stuff. Uh, nope. Just was not even trying to do that. I just wanted to break it down for parts. Alright, what have we here? A blunt scalpel. Am I not on auto disassemble? I might. Hmm. Might not be on auto disassemble. It's worth checking, I suppose. Uh, where is that? Automatically disassemble scrap, yeah. Stuff that is actual scrap. So if I t if I just tap, no, it just picks it. Okay, yeah, it did it did break it down. It won't do it when we just walk over it, but I if once I pick it up, it will get with the program. All right, uh, I suppose I'll take some bullets. And honestly, I don't need to be carrying random weapons around for trade value anymore. We are beyond such things. What's up here? I assume that it's keeping track of a lot of real complicated stuff right now from the the speed with which it is processing requests so we may see the uh, we may see the game engine get a tiny bit overloaded wait what was that we stepped in a space temporarily where there was a lot of loot did i pick that stuff up yeah i grabbed a chem cell and some oily injectors a booster bot was horrifically slain in this place and then i stepped on some lurking breath like a whole bunch of it, actually. But it looks like this area is pretty clear, because all the things that spawned here fought each other to the death. Well, works for me. It is a shame that the existence of the normality field makes it basically impossible to... Wait, what? You emit a powerful ray of flame. There's a, <laughs> a little bit of a typo there. Ah, that was me aiming the Ray of Flame. So, okay, you do get to aim it. It doesn't just come out. Uh, well, I'm taking a lot of damage from bleeding. And I'm a little nervous about moving right now. I'm going to actually use a Salve Injector. It's probably not going to end up being an issue, but just in case. Because we got to wait for the bleeding to stop naturally. Because I don't have first aid, right? I can't... Can I just apply a bandage without first aid? You stop bleeding. And we know... I mean, I think I'm safe right here. Am I gonna... Nope. I stopped bleeding, and then I took a bunch more damage from bleeding. Because combat log is a liar. That's fine. We will, we will 
will hit the salve injector just for safety. We have a few. Don't know why they're stacking up in separate places. We'll go out via spaces that we know are not bathed. Uh, I think I just... Okay, so the damage from the damage from the bleeding can trigger the ray. It's any source of damage. It's not like just getting hit. I do not care for all of these terrible plants. All these horrible, terrible plants that we're always dealing with. Can I rest? Okay. I bet the mind vine wouldn't have had this problem. How do you think Lurking Beth, like, works? Do you think it... Do you think it eats the blood? Does it subsist on the blood? Oh boy. That's not a basilisk, right? Yeah, it's just a husk. I love the fact that it has combat stats. If you could lift this husk and wallop somebody with it, it sure would do something. I'm just gonna fuke. And then we're gonna... Uh, force bubble. And then I'm gonna step away from the fighting. I trust... I trust my, my Mies to have... Oh boy. Well, that's not great. Let's see if we can kill this thing really quickly before the force bubble wears off. Something just took 1,500 damage. I'm not... The only time we've ever seen 1,500 damage happen before was when uh, we were near that... Was when we were jackhammering walls. But it was it was one of my clones that was in the space where it happened. So to, do I have a wall breaking thing that's actually effective that I didn't realize I had? Maybe. No bullets in gun. Why haven't we invented the infinite ammo headband yet? Alright, I do, by the way, know that there is a booster bot shooting at me. I'm still going to take time out of my busy schedule to hack this thing up. Okay, I got him for one damage there. <laughs> that volley was worth something. He's actually... He's dodging my bullets. I don't care for this. There we go. Boy, it's getting a little, uh, it's getting a little enemy dense up here. So we'll go for some time dilation. We can probably shoot down the small crabs. No, don't aim at the big crab. I specifically aimed you away from the big crab with the previous shot. Alright, let's see if we can quickly deal with the big crab. Dismember, take his head clean off. Oh my god, it worked. Decapitate's, like, pretty alright. As far as skills go, it's a, it's a good one. So this is what I was saying about axes. I don't know if the axes are necessarily the best melee weapon, but they sure do feel great. You get a real you get a real feel good out of uh, decapitating a huge enemy, and just like honestly, even without even without the splashy low percentage things like that, just finishing a fight with somebody and oh boy. Okay, we're gonna step back this way. Then I'm going to force bubble and hope that that would block his uh, his breath. And we're going to try to shoot him down real fast. I mean, at this range, a fair number of my bullets should make contact, although he's got decent dodge value. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I mean, we do have a blaze injector left. If it comes right down to it, I can unfreeze myself. Okay, thank God. I want to be careful, because the Alchemist is over there, and last time we were in the Alchemist's lab, somebody triggered an explosion. I can't imagine... Uh oh is he coming after me? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're, we're, he, I like Mechanimus. Mechanimus like me. I'm not trying to take anything. I just want to have a chat with my friend. The Okay, apparently he can't do that through a force bubble. Now can I talk to him? Here we go. Liquids are better. I prefer liquids. I get it, man. He's a connoisseur, you might say. That does sort of make it sound like you're consuming them. Which I guess he probably is consuming some of them. So my dude has some cloning draft, some neutron flux. Aside from that, not really anything terribly interesting. Like, this is all stuff we can get elsewhere. Oh, brain brine. What does this actually do? I mean, we're not going to get a... Yeah, we're not going to get a meaningful description out of that. It's real expensive. I wonder if drinking it makes you smarter. Or maybe, maybe you can pour it on a wall. Uh, or you, uh, you are you are you are a whole molting basilisk. You do not read as hostile. I mean, you don't read as a living thing, really. Yeah, it doesn't have any of the stuff I would expect to see. 
I'm just gonna... So is the alchemist running away from the molting basilisk, I wonder? Is that what's happening here? Uh, gun is reloaded. I mean, it's not coming after me. Or wait, is that it, or is that one of its husks? It says... It says it's just the skin, but then the name doesn't say husk in it. I don't trust it. Let's shoot at the other stuff. Uh... Apparently there was a drowsing urchin over there, who I, I really showed him who's boss. Again, I do wish that uh, attempting to use a gun would prefer to target the last person you intentionally targeted, rather than, you know, whoever's nearby or, or whatever targeting logic it's using now. Also, I, we've been playing this character for a while, and I'm a couple versions out of date, and it's entirely possible that that's an issue that's already fixed, so... Oh, our fire hands have been triggered. Got him. Oh, apparently our fire hands got triggered twice there. I got to fire two fire beams. Alright, a lot of mutants would be afraid to get into melee with the normality clouds. Let me tell you something. I'm not a lot of mutants. I'm just I'm just one mutant, like definitionally. Well, I guess sometimes I use temporal fugue, and then I'm then I'm kind of a lot of mutants. It depends on how you define a lot. Do not shoot at the Basilisk. The Basilisk and I are, are basically friends. Okay, another Beetle. Mm, okay, there's almost always like a colony of Lurking Beth. Or I suppose, honestly, it might be just one organism. I don't actually have any idea how this stuff works. It might be that a single lur Lurking Beth plant is uh, large enough to extend over multiple spaces. Not picking this up automatically. Nope, I hit disassemble. Sorry, uh, get these. I don't know if we uh, will ever need them. The salve injector recipe doesn't actually rely on having an injector. I guess I just I form it out of pure tinkering. So maybe they're not actually useful for anything at all, honestly. Please stop shooting me. Can I disassemble these? Yeah, sure. Why not? They're robot parts. All right, what do you want? Five soul curds, and I will reward you with a splendid vestment. Okay. Five soul curds feels more doable than a lot of the, um... A lot of the things that Beatles have asked of us, but I do not... I mean, my, my current vestment is pretty splendid, is all I'm saying. Okay, apparently failed to hit the drowsing urchin. That's fine. You know, we don't... We don't actually need to. Ah, uh, Beth... Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> There's so much of it. It's just everywhere. All right, well, in an hour from now, when we have healed from this, we'll just we'll carefully hack our way out of this horrible corner we've been put in. Boy, it really, it does take a lot of turns to heal up. Am I actually healing? There we go. How dare you. I do feel like, I don't know, it, it feels a little bit like the alchemist should be more significant, like uh, my uh, my fire hands are being triggered repeatedly. You know, it's really weird that he doesn't seem to have any actual, like, there's, no, there's nothing to do with him, he doesn't have anything he wants you to do, he doesn't seem to have any, like, equipment that is particularly interesting or unusual. He's just a guy who's down here who runs an Icker lab. Hey, doesn't that seem strange? Oh, do not get... Do not even try to get into the regeneration tank. I can regenerate on my own. Although, honestly, I suppose I should, I should use the... Damn it. I suppose I should use the regeneration tanks instead of resting until healed when I can, because look at how long this takes. Now, our character is an albino, and he's supposed to have reduced healing rate in sunlight. I would, we're not, we're not in sun, unless the floating glow sphere is emitting the kind of light that slows my healing. I can't imagine that would be affecting us down here. All right, please, no more Rhymewicks. Imagine there's no Rhymewicks. 
it's pretty, it's pretty easy if you try. If you really think about it. Uh, smash him, smash him, smash him. Why let a robot... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do I... How much... Did he hit me that hard? He did, in fact. 24 damage in a single hit. And he cleaved me. Well, just goes to show you, the axe-type axe weaponry is the best. Let's probably, yeah, take this chem cell. I, there's real good odds I'm just going to be disassembling or uh, selling it later, but, you know, may as well have it. Another Beetle, man. That's chain gun turret. That's one of the few kinds of turrets that I'm actually still scared of. Uh, all right, I'm going to step to here. And try to shoot this thing down. Oh, it looks like, yeah, we got it. I was gonna say, I'm ready to fugue. We probably don't need to. Bring me three poison tip spears. Shoot. Yeah, well, if we run into the one kind of enemy that we know of that uses poison tip spears, we could probably get three from a single enemy. Something shot at me. I think it was a booster bot. I mean, it's pretty hard to tell from just the projectile art, I suppose. Okay, we should be safe from the chain gun here, I think. Let's take a couple of swings at this guy, fishing for cleaves. And then the dismember. Well, the chain gun is definitely still firing. I suppose at some point it will probably... Oh, fire hands. I suppose at some point it will probably hack through the wall. Boy, this is taking a long time. <clears throat> hey, that made some ick slugs. It's alright, we have a chain gun. Oh, chain gun doesn't have any ammo in it, though. A fair number of the ick slugs, I think, are being killed by the chain gun turret, which I have mixed feelings about. Because, you know, they're still worth XP. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna rest up real quick. Never mind, I'm just gonna murder this booster bot real quick. It's not clear to me if they're still using... If they're still trying to hit us with injectors in melee combat. It might be the case that melee combat's way safer than ranged combat. Where was the chain gun? Is it here or here? So we're pretty close... Ah, oh, you know what? I have force bubble. That's what I think of you. Alright, so we are... At this point, we are considerably positive on ammo over the course of this dungeon. Uh, that is a heavy artifact. It's a chain gun. Well, can I learn to build them? Cool. Uh, I'm just going to disassemble it. I don't think we need a chain gun. I think our carbine is... Uh, our carbine. I think it's carbine. I think our current gun is a better move than a chain gun. We don't get as many... We don't get quite the same... Um, bullets to actions efficiency, but the masterwork and scoped qualities, I think, matter quite a bit. And at this point, it's probably safe to disassemble this. I was keeping this one alive in case we actually wanted to use it for healing. I do not think that is necessary. I, I saw that, Beth. I saw that, Beth. Okay. Interesting stuff over there. Let's have a look at that in just a moment. You know, after I just after I just indiscriminately discharge my firearm in all directions. Oh, my uh my fire hands were triggered because I stepped on some more Beth. Honestly, I'm No, absolutely don't target yourself. Why would I target myself? Why was why is that even a question I got asked? I just I tapped F to, you know, prepare to fire a gun. Are you hostile? Have you gone? Yeah, I must have. I must have winged him with a bullet. Yeah, no, I'm not being, like, super careful. It happens. Frankly, I think it's kind of crummy of him to take it so personally. All I did was shoot him a little bit. Okay, uh, let's check out the loot area. Uh, yep. All, all A-plus gear. Right, implant core, not terribly exciting. Yeah, that's it. Lots of lettered scrap. Now, these a little bit better. 
Bandages and copper nuggets. Apparently we've not seen one of these chairs yet. Give me that. Uh, yeah, I get, I suppose. I almost disassembled the, the power cell as well. All right, well, I mean, we're kicking ass down here. We're, we're getting the thing done. So far, I think, it, it looks like, really, the only situation where we're in much danger is if we get right waked, which was really, that, that's, that was true with Mithter as well. All right, I took a little nap in the gas, <laughs> woke up feeling very refreshed. How far down are we now? It is ten. Ten strata. So there's still... Oh, I think that was Rhymewick breath. Either it missed us or it was shooting at the urchin. It seems like their breath attack has considerable cooldown. That was a laser turret? Something chirped and then that looked like an energy projectile. I wonder if we can, if we can, oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm in a fugue, I think. I was, I was for a minute there convinced that we were in a situation where I didn't need to do that. But it has become, uh, rapidly more dangerous in this area. And I don't know, maybe I should be prioritizing the gyro humor. It is closer. I'm having a hell of a time just getting my character to focus on the enemies that matter. It really wants to kill that sleeping urchin. Am I... Have I hit the gyro humor at all? I guess I'm getting a health readout on the, uh, on the urchin because the game desperately wants to believe that that's the enemy to target, so... Okay. You're down. Let's pop you. The Rhymewick is definitely still alive. do not know where it is. Found it. And all my stuff's on cooldown now. Time dilation? Let's see if we can just um, get it to approach us slowly enough that we, uh, that we thaw before it makes it over here. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna work. I think it must have. It must have gotten caught in the sleep gas. Yep, and it has fallen asleep again. Oh, now I've been knocked prone. I fell asleep for a long time, and then I woke up to a Rhymewick chewing on my head. Shield slam, and just absolutely cut him to pieces. I mean, they melee pretty hard, but we might be okay because we're not frozen. He's still hitting me really hard. Okay, bullets. Bullets are good. Yeah, that got, that got a little closer than I would like. Considering that that's a, a fight that really sort of started in our favor. Uh, reload gun. I'm going to go back upstairs and rest up here. Just so something doesn't sneak up on us. Uh, that could have uh, that could have gone real badly, actually. I should, even when I'm not facing them while frozen, I should take the rhyme wicks a little bit more seriously. I could have, after we... Um, after we popped the fugue and everything and failed to kill the kill the thing, I could have just gone back upstairs. It probably would not have followed us up there because we, it would have been so far away. And then we could have just uh, gone at it again at our leisure, you know, rest up there until all of our cooldowns are back. And, and there's another Betel. We're getting really lucky with the number of Betels we're seeing and not so much with the um, the requests. A lot of these feel not that fulfillable. Especially the one for the giant hands, since I've never seen such a thing. I do want to go up. Ah, nope. I see you. I see you, Beth. Just always laying in wait. I mean, listen, I'm sure we've all known a lurking Beth. Everybody has a lurking Beth in their lives. Waiting, just waiting for her opportunity. Suppose we ought to grab these crab legs, because we don't have a huge amount of meat. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And here Duke the Fourth won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Tumu at the Battle of Carsonip Mesh. 
As, as a result of the battle, Carson at Mesh was so rife with burnt books and corroded data disks that it was renamed the Shrewd Bog. I would love to find the Shrewd Bog. That sounds like a great place to be. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, so if you see the Lurking Bath first, it doesn't actually get you. Your character is careful enough when stepping into the space, I guess. Uh, another chain gun that I think I'm just going to disassemble. Do I know how to make these? I do not. Problem solved. Do I know how to make these? Uh, either I must or I can't learn from psychometry. We are not going to take on any additional missiles. We have enough big piles of trade value just sitting out outside Gritgate that I do not feel compelled to grab those. All right, we'll, uh, we'll come over here and we'll say hi to this turret. Maybe you could cut that out. It's actually, it's surviving a remarkable number of rounds with us. I have to give it credit. Uh, what am I doing? I don't need, I don't need skills to kill one of those. Okay, what do you want? Six light obfuscating lenses, and I will reward you with great renown. I mean, a lot of these rewards sound cool and interesting. If only I had any idea where to get this stuff. Uh-oh. Okay. This time we do have tools. So I'm going to let him approach. Oh, I unfroze immediately. And then I got bathed, like, real bad. I'm going to shoot this thing now, get the pool of normality gas over there, and then we deploy. You know, I just, I, I bring my squad with me everywhere that I go. Right, let's stay focused on the Rhymewick, despite <laughs> the way the game's targeting wants to work. See that when there's nothing else to shoot at outside of the Rhymewick, it's just like, eh, hey, what if we didn't fire the gun at all? I press, I press F and it just ke keeps the cursor on me. We don't need to do this. We don't need to get violent about it. It's only trying to murder you. You know, it was probably afraid for its life or whatever. Okay, not, not exactly the outcome I wanted. I was really hoping we would just one-shot that thing before it could start twinning. So I'm at 95 health. I I'm not. I'm not in tremendous danger here. We have a lot of bullets. All right, I think we might actually have cleaned up the uh, the infestation. I don't believe any of the. Uh, how dare you? How dare you move away from me and try to get me to chase you? I don't believe any of the leech bits escaped there. Uh, shield slam. That it did not knock him prone. Well, uh, then sprinting, because obviously I'd love to not be adjacent to this guy when I shoot him. Not a great start. <laughs> Boy, he's really moving. I'm actually a little concerned. Okay, we're going to be able to force bubble in a second. I do not want to have to salve again. Three turns. He is a lot faster than I am. All right, it is critical that this thing die before my force bubble runs out. Did it die? Or did it run around the corner? It did not die. Or at least if it did, we didn't get a message. No, I don't want to move into the acid. What I want to do is move into the convalescence. There we go. Hmm. I guess it did die. We didn't get any XP, though. Is there something else around here that sniped the killing blow? Maybe it, um, maybe it stepped on some bath or something? Let's try to just rest. Here in this, here in this nice safe corner. Uh, they know where I am. Okay. And we're almost halfway down. It's only going to be two or three more episodes before we actually get to where we're going. Uh, so I'm trying to think ahead a little bit. I don't think we're super well liked. So we might not be able to do the Earl of Omenporch in uh, in the same easy way that we did it with Mifter. 
Mithner was universally renowned until, you know, he betrayed the dogs in, the, in that way that he betrayed them. I can't remember what the other... There were like a couple of different ways to go on that quest, weren't there? We're, probably we're going to have to do something else. That's alright. Yeah, we're here for the variety. It's fine. Not everybody can live up to the legend of Mithter. Perhaps Atsunen could have, if, if her life had not been tragically cut short by falling asleep in front of that turret for several years. I should probably actually look over my gear. I'm sure we... I'm sure we could put together some reasonable mods at this point. Oh, you didn't actually die. How dare you survive one hit? Who do you think you are? Okay. I think we are done with this floor. Uh, I guess there's a little bit of space over here that we haven't yet seen. Free circuit board. Alright, I think we're good. We wanna. We should probably eat before we go down to the next floor. Can't cook with hostels nearby. That's fine. There aren't any. They were. They were near. They were near the space that we were just in. They're not near this space, of course. This is a very different kind of space. You know what? Just give me HP. It's fine. Eleven percent. It'll have to do. Our HP is actually starting to get pretty good. Oh, you know what? Speaking of, um, hey there, random mechanist. I think your day is about to go just horribly. You're you're gonna have a real wow, yeah. Uh, don't worry, we'll save you. Get them, friends. Um, hmm. I cannot open my abil abilities menu for some reason. Or maybe the game as a whole has locked up. There it goes. That was pretty weird. All right, force bubble. Alright, let's shoot every random enemy to death. Uh, my other my other Marugamets are doing fancy stuff. I think the game is slowing down a little bit because there's like Sphinx Salt involved and there's people are predicting the future. I got shoved aside by the stunning force from the Boulder Man. Uh, looks like all of the crabs are pretty focused on the crag bench at this point. Why, why would I why would I aim downward there's not even any it's not even anything down there for me to shoot at why would my default shot go downward okay Craig Mench is dead we got some more Craig Mench. I mean, these guys are these guys are easy enough the axe is the appropriate tool all right I dare say I think we cleaned that up pretty quickly all right got a couple of cleaves on him dismember Nope. Failed to get through the armor on the dismember. That's a shame. Well, you know what I don't want to deal with is this guy. Perhaps I spoke too soon on the cleaning things up. It turns out there's a lot of enemies still alive. Just actually a kind of a huge number of them. Uh, I'm gonna pop that, even though it's not really a threat, just to make sure we don't have to deal with it in a minute. Oh, crag bench. I don't that's not a good idea. Or, uh, our friend here is trying to get in and help us. I don't really need the help, and I'm concerned that you are going to get yourself murdered, and I will not be responsible for the death of another beautiful innocent. You tell Senator Atsunen's fate weighs heavily on Marugamet. Also, I'm actually not... I'm, ta I'm taking damage... Uh, I'm taking shots, I think, from a booster bot. So I'm going to back up and switch targets here so that I don't get... Um, I don't get multi-tonicked here. I am not landing a lot of cleaves. Uh, Dismember is available again. Yeah, this battle is going really badly. We're rolling, rolling some bad dice over and over again. That said, we're strong. We're stronger enough than these guys that it's yeah, not not likely to become a big issue. Dismember you. Okay, there we go. That's what winning a fight feels like. Uh, so we got a weird artifact. Honestly, the weird artifact we just got is probably... 
just his injector gun. Right, because I don't think we have an, uh, yeah, an oily, willowy booster gun. I don't think we've identified one of those since having to reload. Uh, I don't really want to carry that around. I don't think that it has a lot of value. But I guess I also can't mod it. That's fine, I'll just drop it. I don't, I don't care. Uh, we don't really need these chain pistols. Is four a part that we need? No. No, extremely not. We have 18 fours. Three is the thing that's really valuable. Well, I'm still going to dismantle this because I don't want to be carrying the weight. This one maybe we'll hold on to. And this I definitely do not want to just be carrying around. This is the whole reason I came into my inventory in the first place. Okay. Booster The booster gun apparently looks like a bow on the ground. I guess that makes sense. It's like a crossbow, right? It's firing, firing crossbow bolts at us. Boy, there sure are a lot of these things around. I feel like we've gotten pretty lucky with our generation of Bethesda Souza. Oh, I should probably rest. I'm actually, like, very injured. Okay, could you not? Must you exist up there? We've gotten very lucky. We've seen a lot of Beetles. We've seen a ton of Plastronoids, and they're still worth quite a bit of XP for us. Like, we're leveling up really quickly here. We've almost got another level already. And I haven't looked at our, um, our stats or our points or anything in a minute. We probably have a whole bunch of skill points. Uh, let's do that now. 442 skill points, 2 mutation points. I'm not sure what I want to do mutation-wise. We are 3 levels away from having the agility necessary for the other dual wield skill, and we'll get enough skill points over the course of those 3 levels to take it, right? Actually, I don't I don't think I get 100 per level. So we want to we want to maintain some, but we don't have to we don't have to maintain much. Let's go ahead and take uh Deft blocking. We have our shield. We may as well be good at using it. And then we could afford to take something else. Uh, what about wayfaring? I do like... I do like having the ability to get lost less and to find cool stuff more. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So where do, where do we travel a lot? We travel through... Uh, boy... We travel through jungles a fair amount. I want to leave us with like a hundred-ish skill points left. I think we could, we could we could spend one hundred. Come out of this at ninety-two, and I think that would be fine. Let's also grab canyons, and we don't walk through mountains that much. Doubles the chance of interesting encounters while traveling through chrome ruins. Honestly, we don't walk through ruins that much. But I want to find... Cool stuff in the ruins feels like it's more significant than cool stuff elsewhere, so... Oh. A single shotgun shell. No shotgun. Uh, which I guess is part of the reason that, um, that he is now dead. He forgot to bring a gun for his bullets. Okay, the leeches are, uh, you know, they're bringing on some more... Some more leeches at a pretty impressive clip here. Is there a limit to how often they can do this? Is it like, as long as there's one leech alive, as long as there's exactly one leech alive, they can bring in more? Alright, I'm gonna force bubble. Didn't even... Sometimes when I hit F, the default targeting is nothing. And if I just if I just tap F and then press fire again real quick, it, it just doesn't shoot. But it still spends my turn, it seems like. The targeting behavior is weird. But, kind of whatever. The, the the turn still getting spent, though, is definitely real crummy. Alright, that got a little closer than I would like. I don't like to see myself go into red health off of a single enemy. Bethesda Souza is... It, it is probably supposed to be the case that Golgotha feels a little bit like your first real dungeon delve. Or I guess if you start in Joppa, there's Red Rock, right? Uh, but Bethesda Souza, I think, ends up feeling like the first real big dungeon because of the fact that once you are um once you know a little bit about Golgotha you realize that the the only real plan is to spend as little time in it as possible also i suppose i probably ought to end the episode at some point here i like the fact that uh, fix it spray foam goes in the medical containers 
Just like everybody, it's it's robot medicine, right? Just like a salve injector, but for but for robots and true kid. Uh, there's a vine wafer. Why would there be a, a single vine wafer? Well, a single vine wafer in this treasure chest. Is that treasure? Is that what the word treasure means? Let's conclude the. Let's finish exploring this floor, and then we'll uh, we'll stop by the stairs. The dungeon delve nature of Bethesda Souza I also find uh, makes me really want to just continue. So, yeah, one more floor. Six micro manipulator arrays. Micro manipulator arrays are a type of scrap, right? We might actually be able to do that. What is this? Ah, a sniper rifle. Can I learn to build those? <laughs> of course. I'm gonna take this. We don't currently have a ranged weapon that has that level of penetration on it. So we probably are not, we certainly wouldn't use the sniper rifle in many circumstances, but I could see there maybe being a reason to have it. It's good to have a high penetration weapon or two. Let's just go ahead and pop that as we run by. Also that. Maybe even more worthy of popping. And then there's just so much, there's so much stuff to scrap. No, sorry, I'm trying to move. Uh, do this. Dungeon delving, it's a little bit like playing a civilization game. God, there's so much sleep gas everywhere. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna force bubble. The saw hand thing. So uh, it does too much damage. Makes me real nervous. Nope. Just shoot shoot this one. I do like that the force field keeps the uh, the sleep gas out. How dare you? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. All right. I think we are clear of all of the various gases. The urchin up here got destroyed, didn't it? Why is this area so uh, still so full of gas? I wonder if there's one in the space that Mechanimist is in. That's why there's still so much gas. I just can't see the urchin that's emitting it. Is this my blood? I'm just realizing Kragmensch probably don't bleed, right? I mean, I guess I don't have any idea how the biology of a Kragmensch would work. It feels to me like a dude who is made primarily of rock should not have blood. But also, I don't understand the function of I'm just passing the turn while standing still, in case it's not clear, because I want to try to let the gas clear out so I can go in there and kill that guy. If anything, it seems like there's more gas. Are there, there are additional urchins still alive in the area? I hate, hate sleep gas. I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to see him. You know what, cyberneticist, I'm sorry about this, but I need to clear the area. I'm having a really hard time getting the targeting to remember that we're facing that way. I got stunned, you know what? Blue gels are surprisingly good melee combatants. Maybe the cyberneticist was emitting all of the gas? I can't, I can't imagine why else there would have been so much gas up there since there's clearly no urchin. Alright, I as much as I don't like this, I think we're going to have to stand right here. We have seen on many, many occasions that it is basically impossible to fire through a diagonal gap like this. Now let's turn on time dilation as well. All right, we're gonna step in. Nope, that's right, I put a boulder in the, th okay. We're gonna turn on this wall and ask it to move aside, which worked last time. It was, it was remarkably effective for an idea that sounds so incredibly stupid when you say it out loud. Activate you. Thanks. Cool. Very cool and very cool and good. It does seem like there's just no source, just an infinite amount of sleep gas coming from nowhere. Also very cool and good. I mean like we can see that there's a room in here there's just like a hidden room with no entrance i mean i mean 
you know what we must do. I wonder how quickly this thing is going to burn through that power cell. Oh, the cell that's in there is recharging off of the radio waves in the area automatically. That's actually kind of nice. Right, activate. Targeting this wall to our west. It's an empty chamber. Fun. So yeah, apparently in some places, in Bethesda Souza, there's just an infinite amount of self-perpetuating gas. One, one assumes we've encountered a bug. Oh, hold on. This is... In 1879, Polyurum won a decisive victory against the combined forces of the glassblower's oligarchy of Mibowar. The Arbitrary Marsh. Ooh. Hey, that one taught us a sight. Well, now that's exciting. I would, I would like to go to this place, and we absolutely will, you know, four episodes from now when we finish with Bethesda Souza. This is where we're going to call it for today. The length of this one got away from me a little bit. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, come back next time, Monday. We're going to hopefully make... Listen, I'm going to try real hard to just get to the bottom of this on Monday. Maybe we can do it. Fingers crossed. And we'll see you then.